Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials uh, in Synfig. Today I'm going to show you how to move a car from one end to the other end of the screen. When you move the car, the only issue we have is to make the wheel turn because that is the only significant change when the car moves apart from what's happening inside and the background moving. So let's do the wheels first. First go to the circle tool, left click and expand it. Okay, if you go there you can zoom. Now the green spot is the center of the uh, circle. You go to this uh, transformation tool and click and then you can move the circle anywhere okay now that's the outline of the now you can see now you can see in the layer panel we have the circle region ignore what I did there see that uh, square is not checked when you check it it will come on the screen and I'll, I'll show you later so now we have the circle region just say no, leave it as circle region for now. Now what you do is go down to duplicate, duplicate the circle region. So now you, you, you can't see, but you know there is another circle there. To make sure, if you click on that uh, green spot and move, so you can see, okay, there's another circle there. So if you go back, put it back in the same place. Now what we are going to do is, make the second circle layer which we made to say white this is black yeah so highlight that you go to the parameters you see the color there so double click on that you get this one the color name you can see is the say zero 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 zero, zero. that's a uh, black now F, 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 F is white. Enter. Close. Now, this circle is white, but we can't see the white because this circle is below the white uh, black circle, which is that. So if you go to this arrow and <clears throat> go up, now you have the white circle because the black circle is underneath that. Now highlight it by left click on the mouse, just make a rectangle. Now you see the whole circle is highlighted. Go to scale tool, when you do that, the cursor changed anywhere and go down a bit. Yeah, okay. Back to transformation tool click it so you get the normal cursor okay now we have the outline of the tire which is say that's a tire, uh, black tire that's a black tire and that's the middle you can make it rotate as it is but we wouldn't know whether it's rotating or not so we had to put a hubcap with some sort of design you can put whatever you want but to make uh, the tutorial easy, I'm going to put a star. So when the star rotates, we know it's uh, the tire is rotating. So if you go to star tool, click there, and then come to the middle, click, and expand it. Okay, we got a star now. Okay, now what we do is, Highlight all three, the star and both circles by pushing the shift button and go to the group, click that, group. Name that wheel, wheel. So that's our wheel, okay? So now when the wheel is highlighted, everything is now together so if you 
select wheel uh, here, here, rotate yeah, I think, I think, I think it's fair enough we just had to make the wheel rotate <coughs> okay that's a scale down okay now we are going to make the wheel rotate so what you do is we bring the wheel to one end to see how many seconds we have uh, on the canvas go to canvas properties time 30 frames per second 150 so five seconds yeah that's enough so what do you do is that's our beginning so we make a keyframe so click on that key and then add plus so everything all the elements at that time is fixed there right now we change it to animation mode okay so the wheel is going to go from here to there so one second two seconds three seconds yeah we make it two seconds the wheel is going to come here say there okay now if you go back and play yeah it is going all right but it's not the uh, rotating okay right now for that go back to the two seconds we want the wheel to rotate say 360 degrees one circle so what do you do is you go to wheels and go to the parameters and the transformation and these are the elements of the wheel at the time <laughs> if you go to the beginning see the angle is zero yeah so now a 30 second mark sorry two seconds mark we want one whole circle so you can do it in two different ways one change this angle to 360 now let's see if we go back and play back okay it's rotating I know it's got this uh, breaking uh, view that's why uh, you can't really see but you know if you want to see slowly you can see or you can see on the top you can see in that screen clearly yeah yeah it, it is rotating right okay it's there now say another four seconds it's going to do another 360 so now you go to that angle what are you going to put 360 no if you put zero the wheel is going to go backwards rotate backwards so we had to add another 360 which is 720 so we first we move it There is another way of doing uh, the 720 see that blue spot that's the uh, rotating uh, that will rotate the arm so what do you do is just uh, rotate once that's 360 another 360 so now if you see the parameters yeah it is it is showing 720 because uh, we can either change the number, I like to change the number, or use this. Now, okay, we can go back to normal. And go back. And play. Yeah, it's rotating. Okay, that's the main part of the car. Now, we make the car. Now, cars, you can do the way you want you can import a picture uh, it should be one here somewhere 
square which is a drag and drop okay scale it down mm -hmm. okay but the problem with the picture is the wheels are not going to rotate as we know so if you use a picture what you have to do is <coughs> uh, scale down to the size of the car wheel yeah. and uh, duplicate it and you cover the car wheels the picture with your wheel so the car will move and the wheel will rotate you can do that or you can do is you make your own uh, uh, car which I did like bring a drawing car okay and scale it down all you had to do is go to the spline tool click there click 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 well it takes some time so I'm not going to waste the time and waste your time so make the car make the windows you can bring any other car you know the, the shape you like and then the wheel yeah and uh, no okay I'll go back again and then duplicate it and do another wheel there that takes time so I've already done one so actually I can delete all what I did just now I'm gonna delete the wheel and the picture of the car which I did, used it and uh, <laughs> that's the car I made just now delete and delete and now I have the car I made earlier. Yeah, everything done. Okay. See that uh, this display keep on coming. You know why? Because I animated that car already and in the green man mode when i move it the system is asking why you already animated do you want to change it or not if i put it on the animation mode i can do whatever i want it won't ask because animation is animation you can do what you want okay now let's see what the what i did earlier go back and play and the car moves don't worry about the braking and then what you do is go to file render ABI you can dot ABI sorry dot ABI uh, say car and uh, ffmpeg and then render i'm not going to do the rendering now because i've already done one so okay that is oops see the car moves the wheels rotating go back okay now about the background background you can put whatever you want see it's the same car what I did was I, I took this picture 
from Google and then they just uh, put it uh, in the back or you can make up your own background oh yeah. say a mountain and do the same thing to the car Oh, now you put the mountain behind sorry mountain in front of the car so what do you do is you move the car up okay now the car is there yeah that's good. yeah obviously you need a road so make a road I don't know you just uh, play around with that anything uh, you want to put uh, you can put trees color the mountains yeah so that's about it oh uh, if you if you think uh, this uh, tutorial is uh, useful please uh, subscribe thank you and I will see you in uh, another tutorial later Bye for now.